Hi viewers, this is Minaj Chandra Mansito. Welcome to my channel. You are watching Ganesh Tutorial Mas. Uh, are you all ready to learn? Let me start the class. Uh, in this video, I am going to solve the problem. Exercise 2.2, second problem, subdivision number 1, chapter 2, 9th standard, NCRT Max. Clear? Uh, what they given this problem, what they are asking here, find P of 0, P of 1, and P of 2 for each of the following polynomial. Clear? Actually, they are given a polynomial. We should find P of 0, P of 1, P of 2. Clear? Actually, what it means, in here P of y is equal to y square minus y plus 1. So, P of 0, it means, instead of y, you can put a 0. Clear? So, we can find the value. Then, next, P of 1. Instead of y, you can put a 1 and find P of 1. Clear? Then, instead of y, you can put a 2 and find the value of P of 2. Clear? Are you all clear? The same way, we should find the value for P of 0, P of 1, P of 2 for each of the following polynomials. Clear? The four polynomials. Are you all clear? So, let me solve the problem now. So, first polynomial, P of y is equal to y square minus y plus 1. So, first we should found, find P of 0, right? So, P of 0. It means instead of y value, you can put a 0, that's all. So, 0 square minus 0 plus 1. So, 0 square 0, 0 plus 1. So, 1. So, P of 0 value 1. Clear? Any doubt? Next, P of 1. P of 1. So, now instead of y value, y, you can substitute a 1 here, right, in the same polynomial. So, 1 squared minus 1 plus 1. So, 1 squared 1 minus 1 plus 1 cancel. So, P of 1 value 1. Clear? Any doubt? So, next is third one. P of 2. So, now in this polynomial, we should substitute instead of y value 2. Instead of y variable, we should substitute a value 2. So, y squared that is 2 squared minus 2 plus 1. So, 2 squared became a 4. 4 minus 2 plus 1. First, you can add a positive number. Plus 4 plus 1. So, plus 5 minus 2. So, now different signs. So, subtraction. 3 larger number plus. So, P of 2 equal to 3. Clear? Any doubt? Next, second polynomial. Clear? So, here the second polynomial. P of t equal to 2 plus t plus 2t squared minus t cube, right? Now, it is a polynomial in one variable t, in a variable t. So, now we should find p of 0. So, it means instead of t value t, you can substitute the value 0. So, instead of t, you can put a 0 in this polynomial. So, 2 plus, instead of t, 0 plus 2 into 0 square minus 0 cube. So, 2 plus 0, 2 into 0, 0 squared 0, 2 into 0, 0, minus 0 cube, 0. So, answer 2. So, P of 0, 2. Clear? Any doubt? Second one, in the same polynomial, we should find P of 1. Clear? So, now, instead of T value, you can put 1. So, 2 plus 1 plus 2 into 1 squared minus 1 cube. So, 2 plus 1 plus 1 square 1, 2 into 1, 2. 1 cube, 1. So, add a positive numbers. 2, 1, 3, 2, 5. So, 5 minus 1. So, 5 minus 1, it became a 4. Different sign, 4. So, larger number sign, plus. So, P of 1 is equal to 4. Clear? Any doubt? Next, yeah. Now we can find P of 2. So instead of T value, we can put 2, right? So 2 plus, 2 plus, actually here 2 plus 2 into T square, that is 2 square minus T cube, that is a 2 cube, right? Then 2 plus, 2 plus, 2 into 2 to the 4 bracket minus 2 cube. 2 cube, it means 2 into 2 into 2. So, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. So, 2 cube 8, right? So, 8. Next, now 2 plus 2 plus 
2 4 are 8 minus 8. Now you can add a positive numbers 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 8 12. 12 minus 8. Do different signs of subtraction. Remaining what it is? 4 positive larger number plus it. So P of 2 is equal to 4. Now we found the value. Clear? Any doubt? Next polynomial. Third one. P of X is equal to X cube. Clear? P of X is equal to X cube. Now it's a polynomial, right? So now we can find P of 0 of this polynomial. So P of 0 means instead of X value, you can put 0. So 0 cube. That is 0. So P of 0 value, 0. Right? Next, P of 1. 1 cube. So P of 1 is equal to 1. 1 cube only, no? So P of 2. That is 2 cube. So P of 2 is equal to 2 cube. We know that 8, right? 2 into 2 into 2. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. So P of 2, 8. Clear? Any doubt? Next, last polynomial. That is the fourth one. Fourth polynomial. P of x is equal to x minus 1, x plus 1. Clear? x minus 1, x plus 1. Clear? Here, they are given in a factor form. Actually, it is a polynomial, but it is they given in a factor form because the two terms under a multiplication, right? Before the polynomials, we know that it is in a form of terms. It formed by the terms. Here it is formed by the factors. Clear? Clear? So now, P of 0. So P of 0, 0 minus 1, 0 plus 1. So 0 minus 1, minus 1. 0 plus 1, 1. So 1 into 1, minus 1. So P of 0, 1. Clear? Next, P of 1 plus 1. So, x value 1 minus 1, 1 plus 1. Now, 1 minus 1, here plus 1, minus 1. So, 0 into, see here it is into multiplication, 1 plus 1, 2. So, 0 into any number it became a 0. So, P of 1, 0. Clear? Any doubt? So, next polynomial, next one, P of 2. We can find P of 2. So, P of 2, uh, x value, x minus 1, that is 2 minus 1. Next, 2 plus 1. So, 2 minus 1 became a 1. Into 2 plus 1, 3. So, 1 into 3, 3. So, P of 2 value, that is 3. Clear? Any doubt? Are you all clear? I hope in this video you may clear about the problem. Thank you for watching my video. If it is any doubt, you can ask me in a comment.